Deborah Steinborn is a journalist in Hamburg in Germany. I asked her how significant the political shift will be if Olaf Scholz becomes chancellor. We can expect if Olaf Scholz uh, becomes chancellor and the Social Democratic uh, Party does indeed um, pull through with um, being the major party, that um, it will not be a big swing to the left. Uh, Olaf Scholz himself is uh, rather centrist rather than uh, left, um, as many of his colleagues in the party's upper ranks may be. And at the start of the campaign, the CDU's Armin Laschet looked destined to be the next chancellor. So where did it go wrong for him and his party? That's an excellent question. Well, what we've seen is that Armin Laschet, who everyone expected would just be maintaining the status quo of what we've had for the past 16 years with Angela Merkel, uh, he just proceeded to introduce one gaffe after another one in his campaign and really became the weakest candidate in the entire race, one could say. And as you say, a co coalition must be formed. It's not a done deal yet, though, is it? Not at all. It's just getting started today. Uh, in fact, it's quite confusing. It's unprecedented how confusing things are. The razor-thin electoral outcome that we saw last night means that it's unclear who's going to talk with whom first, what they're going to talk about, and um, what will happen from there. The German constitution doesn't even have guardrails for a situation like this. And Olaf Scholz is the likely new chancellor, but how different will, would he be from Angela Merkel? Well, that's um, hard to say before it's really clear um, whether he will be chancellor. Uh, there's actually a lot of discussion uh, in Berlin today um, behind the scenes about the possibility of the uh, Christian Democrats trying to literally throw out Armin Laschet and bring in their CSU uh, counterpart, Markus Söder, as a candidate for chancellor. If they manage to do such amazing negotiations, that actually is a possibility. But with respect to Olaf Scholz, as he is a rather centrist candidate, he is not as left-leaning as other members of his party. It's possible that it will be status quo for Germany. That said, we can expect a very different era to emerge from this election campaign than what we've had with the steady hand of Angela Merkel guiding not only Germany, but the European Union as well. I think those times are most likely over, and Germany will, at least for the coming months, if not the coming years, be looking much more inwardly than it has in a long time.